There he is, the yellow with the tail. And then my Cero, which is the speckled teal. Silver teal right here. I mean, just look at that. The rosy drink. Yeah, one kid hit me with a slingshot. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to 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 shoot a to kill a pigeon, so he hit my. Well, as you can tell, I am not in Michigan. I've got Nastancia behind me. I am in Argentina, getting ready to go after the South American waterfall slam. That is correct. The South. Well, as you can tell, I am not in Michigan. I've got an Estancia behind me. I am in Argentina getting ready to go after the South American Waterfall Slam. That is correct. The South American Waterfall Slam going to be between Argentina and Peru. I had such a good time last year doing the North American Waterfall Slam. And don't get me wrong, there were challenges, there were ups and downs, but at the end, it was one of the best years that I've ever had in my life. So I wanted to repeat that. And obviously, South America is the next step. So. First one, Argentina. This is the opening week of waterfall season here after two years of not hunting because of COVID. This should be the exact time to be here. Just got to the blind and non-stop action. Yeah. Two coming right. afternoon here in Argentina and all I can say is 20 minutes into the blind and wow literally the second that we got all the decoys set there were ducks that just started piling in and it has been non-stop since so we're just gonna hunker down right now the weather is blowing so they're barely even looking for that to come in right now Bubble. like I was saying since we've got into the blind, it's been non-stop action. And it is awesome.
first bird I grabbed here in Argentina, and this is what I'm here for. I'm learning every step of the way. This is a silver teal, first one I held in my hands. I mean, look at that bill. It looks like somebody painted it. This is an absolute gorgeous duck. Maxi, white cheek pintail, right? Yes, sir. Perfect. Gentlemen, how'd it go? Awesome. Great. Amazing. What you got? You got to tell Fantastic. me what we got. How'd you shoot? Oh, so it's been a year since I shot, so okay. it took a little so, bit to warm up. Right. But then once I got warmed yeah, up, then we were, we're doing good. some doubles. I'll yeah. talk to your guide later. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, so you want the truth. <laughs> <laughs> this one, gentlemen, look at this. The silver wing teal. They call it the silver wing teal, obviously, for the silver there. But if you look at some of these feathers, this really, a bunch of people take this to do flies and stuff like that off the back end. Look how beautiful that bird is. just gorgeous. That's almost like really a mallard. It knows, but it's it's crazy. Yeah. Just the 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 kind of the differences in all the colors that it has. Silver winged teal. So we got the ring neck teal. This one's still probably an immature, to be perfectly honest with you, because it doesn't have quite the color on the head, but certainly on the feathers it does. So that's a ring neck teal. Pretty little bird. This is one of our. <coughs> so. Down here, what we're looking for uh, when we're duck hunting, there's really three birds that are our mainstay. Uh -huh. This is one of them. Okay. So the other one is the is this one, which is the the yellow-billed pintail, and then you have the rosy bill we haven't gone into yet, uh -huh. and we will. And then the other one here is the micero, which is the speckled teal. Okay. It's a pretty bird, but those three birds and between these birds, so this is the, sorry, to get forward on it. This is the yellow-billed pintail, just like this. Mm -hmm. There is another pintail here, which we got today too, which is the white-cheeked pintail. So the difference is obviously on their faces. But really the three birds that we're looking for, um, basically to for a commercial hunt, is gonna be the speckled teal, the yellow-billed, and then the rosy bill, which I'm sure we'll get a bunch of rosy bills okay. this morning, but we didn't get them this afternoon, yep. but that's fine. So then we move forward to the yellow billed. There he is, the yellow billed pintail. That's the one. This one and the rosy bill are the most numerous birds. This is like a. This the would be the mallard. Mallard in the US. and the other mallard would be the rosy bill. So there's okay. two mallards in Argentina. This is one of them. Okay. This is the big one. And then this one, which I'm very, very, very happy to see and was worried we weren't going to get into is the white cheeked pintail. So the pintails here are very different in the states. Males have one sprig that goes straight out. Mm -hmm. Also this would be a male, one sprig straight out. The females have the same thing but it's two sprigs that go straight out. Mm -hmm. But other than that they're, they're relatively bland compared to what a pintail would be in the states. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless those are our five species for today. That's gorgeous. So. That's a cool part about this for me is I'm learning every step of the yeah. way down here because I've never done this before, never seen them. Like that, I just saw pictures of this, this white cheek pintail for it's, it's just to gorgeous. To be perfectly honest, it's my favorite, favorite bird just because of the white here and then the bill is just ridiculous. Yeah. And, and it's been, I don't know, it's been, you know, an hour since we, since, since it's been shot. Mm -hmm. I mean like that, but it's, this, this blue is almost fluorescent when they're, when they're up and running. It's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Fantastic, gentlemen. Good first afternoon. Yeah, great. All right.
los bancos van a tener todos los quesos porque llevan sí, todo. ¿El llevador llevaba? ¿Dijo que dijo? Sí, sí. Yo, sí. We just pulled into where we're going to hunt this morning. Hopefully this morning we get in some widgeon. They're seeing a lot in this area. It's a larger water here than where we hunted last night. As you can tell, it's pretty dark right now. We're going to get in the blind, give it plenty of time, let nature take its course, lighten up and see what we get into. So far everything's been landing about 75 to 100 yards out. They can start seeing the decoys now, we'll start calling. Should get them right in our lap. Cinnamon teal. All right, there we go. <laughs> Did you get the crumple? Ooh. That thing's soft. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Cinnamon teal, just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Oh, Don't get much prettier than that. We haven't got into the masses that we did last night, but this guy right here made it all worth it this morning. Cinnamon teal, absolutely gorgeous. I've seen a couple of shovelers, rosy bills. We're gonna readjust the decoys real quick, then we're gonna hunker back down. Let's take some decoys and go right into that hole where they, they've been landing, right here. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. We'll take some decoys and we go there. Yeah, let's take, yeah. take some decoys and get some in there. We'll make, you and I will make a blind. Yep. So let's do that. Grab our stools. We'll go bend over some reeds. And make it happen over there. Well, we, we, can, we can leave the decoy here. We take three decoys. And we go in the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah, take like six decoys. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to move the whole square. Oh, we've been watching ducks all morning pile in this little pothole in the reeds here. So we finally had enough. We're loading up. We're just going to walk in there, stand in the reeds. Look, we've seen a big variety of ducks going in there. So give it a try. See what it's like in there. Ooh, it's going to be deep. Take right, I'll take left. Straight forward. Now we're never. One more piece. What's, what's this one coming straight? No, I got three dogs. Good luck, Marissa. 
Well, it didn't take very long to heat up in here. I think moving was the right idea. Yes, yeah. sir. If the duck doesn't come to the decoy, we go to the deck. Exactly. <laughs> it's funner in here, too, because you don't see them until the last minute. You want to call it, see if we can't go find that white face? Uh, yeah. Yeah? All right. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So even though it was a slow morning, we did get into a couple different species today that we didn't yesterday. Now, obviously a gorgeous cinnamon teal fulvous whistling duck which ironically this is the one we had to go to Sinaloa for in the North America waterfall slam so I've got fond memories of that. What we got yeah. here? This is a white faced tree duck. A lot like the a yeah. lot like a lot like a whistling duck. Oh, oh, Make oh. the same sound a little bit smaller but that awesome that, face. Yeah just that head they're really really you can really pick them out. The different colors yeah, right now red yeah. they're just they're pretty cool. And when they're flying you can really tell because they got that stumpy butt on yep. you know? We got set up this morning in the blind and man there were ducks everywhere But notice they just weren't coming in think it had something to do with the full moon huh? Yeah, they just didn't have the desire to eat as they normally would Yep. And I think that had to do with how lit the sky was last night and just like you know ducks will be ducks, right? So yeah. if they're gonna take that opportunity to eat they will and that's probably why your afternoon shoot to the first day Yeah, it was so was good way more productive than a normal so afternoon think about shoot. Then this, afternoon. this afternoon could be really good could be really good But if we keep picking off three species per hunt, yeah what are we at species wise? Eight total. Eight total. Eight total. Morning of. There wouldn't be nine. I got five yesterday and three. Oh, I thought you had six. I'm sorry. We're still working on yep. Matt and math. He's yep. COVID behind. That's right. Classes. Jet lag. Yep. <laughs> and I don't know. There's something about a cinnamon teal. Like it's just yeah, they're gorgeous. Just super cool. I mean, I love that wing. Yeah. It's everything about. Them. Yep. We are just loading up here. We're going to actually hit a pothole that was pretty darn close to where we hunted last night. Saw a bunch of widgeon going in there, so that's what we're targeting tonight. Just go in there and hopefully get a widgeon down there. A bunch of other ducks, but really just specifically targeting a widgeon tonight. Wow. Good form. Good form. Oh, yeah. That Could be. Just walk in there and walk right here. There's like six of them. got set up in the reeds. This pond is just a little bit farther from where we hunted last night that we saw the widgeon piling into. Just setting up decoys. We already had some white cheek pintails that tried to do it and come in. They're going to come right over the reeds so it's going to be fast but they're going to be right in our face. I think we'll do just fine. I think we'll be look, look <laughs> over there. Roseville. 
Look at this white sheep coming around. Wants it coming again. They want it. Yeah. This could be a brown pintail beat down. Yeah. Dust that drink up front. Yeah. That was safety off on that teal at 30 yards. Yeah. Good luck killing him on that flight. That's a waste of three shot trail from. Good shot. Two coming in straight out. Yeah, let's take these two and then call her. Well, another amazing afternoon hunt here. We didn't get any new species, but there is no shortage of ducks around here. I do a pickup. I know we got a gorgeous cinnamon teal, speckled teal, ring neck teal. We got yellow billed pintails. What else we get, man? Right there. There's a white cheek pintail, yep. And here they come from the right. Enough, not Did you much. have this yesterday? No. Oh, yeah. oh. At, the, at the conclusion of everyone. Well, we I, got, I warned you. Well, we got, oh my. <laughs> Cough syrup, huh? Yeah. Potent. Oh. What, what, like, what is it? It's like an apple cinnamon type liqueur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, uh, tastes like. Uh, oh. Ah. Like, like flat coke mixed with fireball. Ah. <laughs> yeah, we're we getting into fireball action. Oh. One more. No, I'm good for the morning. <laughs> I'm good for the morning. What do we got? Ah, <laughs> uh, 940. <laughs> 8:40 at home. Yeah, 7. Uh, 7:40. Really for, for you. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> you gotta shoot. You just get get it out of your hands, man. You just, you just gotta do it.